In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn Navy Federal credit cards into cold, hard cash. What's up, winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So if you have any one of these Navy Federal credit cards, which is the cash rewards, platinum, go rewards, or the flagship, you can liquidate your full credit limit for cash. Unfortunately, the more rewards Amex is not gonna be able to do this. So if this is your only Navy Federal credit card, then this strategy would not work. So if you are not aware, you're allowed up to $80,000 worth of a credit limit across three credit cards at any given time. With most of the credit cards that Navy Federal offers, you can get up to a $50,000 credit limit, but the only outlier is a flagship card which it can go all the way up to $80,000. So let's break down a strategy on how you would liquidate your credit cards without incurring any cash advance fees and no risk of your account being shut down. Now, you may not have heard of this rare technique, but let's talk about why you would even wanna liquidate your credit cards. First and foremost, before you pull out any cash from your credit cards, just make sure that you have a plan. I get it, sometimes you pay cash just to get those discounts. Certain places don't allow you to use your credit card, so cash is usually necessary. So for instance, I'm planning to move to a different city. So if you guys ever worked with a moving company before, they usually charge an hourly rate based on cash or credit. I was recently quoted for $129 per hour for cash versus $139 via credit. Now based on my move, it's probably gonna take around 10 hours. So the 10 hour difference between those moving rates, this is roughly around 100 bucks. 100 bucks is still quite a bit of money. So the amount of effort with this technique that I will show with you, it can still be worth your while. Another reason on why you wanna pull out cash from your credit cards is to invest into real estate, the stock market, cryptocurrencies, or any other thing that requires cash to be transferred to your checking account or just physical paper. Now, this is not financial advice, and I would never recommend anyone pulling out cash from credit cards to invest unless you truly know what you're doing. So whatever you do, just do it at your own risk. Before moving on, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Divi. Have you guys ever dreamed about starting a business or already have one? Did you know that the number one reason why most businesses fail is due to lack of capital and poor money management? This is where Divi comes in. Divi is a platform that gives you credit your business needs and a software to manage it. And even if you don't qualify for business credit right away, they'll give you access to a business credit builder for free. The power of business credit is that it does not affect your personal credit. You can get all the business credit cards and lending that you want, but it would not reflect your own personal credit score. So get business credit and spend smarter today with Divi, link down below. So what we're going to be discussing in today's video is by utilizing the Navy Federal's Go prepaid card. Now, I'm pretty sure that the majority of Navy Federal holders out there are not even aware that this card even exists. But either way, this card is meant for budgeting purposes and also to be giving out these cards to your family members or maybe your kids so they can spend responsibly. Since you can actually load this card with your credit card, this allows the user to use it as a regular ATM card. This is the hidden gem. Now let's quickly go over all the features and benefits of the prepaid Go card so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. You also can find all this information on the Navy Federal's website. The link will be down in the description. With the Go card, there's no monthly activation or purchase fees, but there is a caveat. You gotta make at least one transaction per six months. So if you don't, you're gonna be charged a $1 fee until the balance goes to zero. But if you have a zero balance, then you will not be charged this fee. There's also a mobile app, which is totally different from the Navy Federal login. So you actually gotta have a separate email account and password. I think this just makes it easier for additional card members that may not already be a member with Navy Federal. Now with this prepaid card, you can load up to $10,000. This does not mean that you can only put in $10,000. This just means that you're gonna have a maximum of $10,000 at any given time. So if you were to load this card with 10,000 and you spend $3,000 of it, you can actually reload an extra $3,000 to maintain the maximum of 10,000. So hopefully that made some sense and not got you too confused. The key thing with this card is that you get ATM access. You can use this card just like any other regular debit or ATM card where you just have a pin and it allows you to withdraw cash. Now, since this is treated like a regular debit card, you can use this online at the register, but since we're talking about liquidating cash, ATM access is key here. Now, some of the other limitations with this card is that there is a point of sale limit of $3,000 per day, meaning that you're capped at $3,000, but I'm pretty sure that most people shouldn't have a problem with this. The biggest downside with this card is that there is an ATM withdrawal limit of only $600 per day. With that being said, even if you were to load this card up to $10,000, the most that you can get in one month, which is 30 days, is $18,000 off of it. But this may not be as fast as you would like, but it's way better than nothing. So with this play, you have to be a little bit more proactive than reactive. Now, where this can actually make it a little bit more interesting is by getting multiple cards. 
Navy Federal, they allow you to add up to five card holders. Remember, the main intention of this card is to keep track of your family spending and shared expenses. So as a product itself, I actually do like this since I just started my own family. So it was a great card to give your teenager, your wife, your in-laws if they're living with you, or whoever you would like. But at the end of the day, you actually don't have to give them the card. You can actually hold it on to yourself. So if you were to think about it this way, if you were to get five card holders, you can essentially withdraw $3,000 per day. If you were to take that on a monthly basis, that would be $90,000. I know that nobody's gonna be withdrawing that much cash every single day for 30 days. So if you were to just withdraw $3,000 for a week, that'll still be $21,000. So that's enough of a grace period to spend that money however you like and to pay back your credit cards so you would not accrue your interest. So to add additional card members, they gotta be at least 13 years or older and have a valid social security number. Why I think this is a major game changer is that people think one of the only ways to get cash of credit cards is by buying prepaid cards. But it seems like a lot of these banks and major lenders are catching on to this and actually closing your account for manufacturer spending. Not only that, whenever you purchase gift cards, they usually come with purchase fees or load fees that can really cut into your profit. Now, this is probably one of the reasons why I think Navy Fed is probably one of the best financial institutions out there, honestly. The biggest concern that I know people will wonder is that, is this considered a cash advance? The answer is no. Here is the exact screenshot from Navy Federal themselves. So with a cash advance, this is where you use your credit card at an ATM to withdraw cash. So since Navy Federal does not charge cash advance fees, you will get charged interest from the day that you take out the cash. How this is different is that you may see this charge pending as a cash advance or you see a deduction from your cash advance balance, but once the charge has been cleared, it will be labeled as a purchase. So since this is labeled as a purchase, you will not get any rewards. I repeat, you will not get any rewards. Now you still gotta be careful with this because this does not mean that you could just take out cash and run away with it because there's still billing cycles that you would have to keep in mind. So treat your own credit card as you normally would and pay the statement balance in full so you do not have any reoccurring interest. Currently, there are no credit cards with Navy Federal that offer 0% APR on purchases, so there's really no workaround for that. So with the majority of the Navy Federal cards right now, just imagine this as a short-term cash advance without the negatives such as the fees or interest. Now with the gold card itself, there are some additional fees. As mentioned earlier, you will be charged $1 if there is inactivity for six months or more until the balance comes to zero. They also charge ATM fees if it is out of network, which is at least a dollar plus whatever the service fee of the out of network ATM charges. So luckily for me, I do live by multiple free ATMs that are within walking distance, so that really shouldn't be a problem. But if you don't live somewhere where it doesn't offer any free ATMs, then it really can cut into some of your time since you gotta make frequent 600 withdrawals unless you have multiple cards. There's also a fee if you use this card abroad, get a replacement, and do a cash reload. I would not recommend doing a cash reload since you can do this for free using your credit card. So there you guys have it. This is how you will liquidate your Navy Federal credit cards for cold hard cash. If you wanna learn more about Navy Federal, about their tips and tricks and credit cards, come check out these videos over here.